I've got pancakes. I've got ten already, Reese. Don't be a pig. We need to save every penny we can. Do it. Go easy on the orange juice. That stuff doesn't grow in. Wait, it does. So why is it so damn expensive? Yeah, Dewey, you wouldn't want to be greedy. A greedy, conniving old lady who doesn't have a shred of decency in her entire body. The hooligan talks of decency. <laughs> How amusing. What's that amusing? My your business. Okay. Al, I need to talk to you about uh, the thing. Which thing? The, the first thing or the other thing? They know about the thing. Shut up. It's probably a different thing. I just got off the phone with the insurance company. They say that our rates are going to triple. What? Even putting in the claim is gonna cost us. Triple? Oh. Uh, I guess we should probably tell the kids. Who knows, they might have a few bucks we can borrow. No, let's not tell them yet. I know my mother. I know that if we give her one last chance, she'll do the right thing. I just know it. And you understand everything I've explained to you about the deposition process? Yes. You don't have to do that. Sorry. No, 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 no. Sorry, Malcolm. You can't come in right now. What are you talking about? I live here. Sorry, you just can't. Now I can't even go into my own house? Why am I always the one singled out for abuse? Reese and Dewey are in there. No, they're not. Francis and Piyama took a miniature golfing. And moreover, being of sound mind and body, and with just cause. Wait, strike that. Sir, we just need you to state your name. I'm sorry I had to do that, but I had no other choice. I am still a member of this family, no matter how hard you try to forget it, and I deserve the right to know what's going on around here. Malcolm, this does not concern you. Yes, it does. There's something really weird happening in this house. And all I'm asking is for the courtesy of not being treated like an idiot. Well, your evil grandmother is suing us. Did you hear that? He called me evil. I want that on record. Okay, so she's suing us. You don't have to keep that from me. It's horrible, but everything she does is horrible. There's no reason- And your mother is pregnant. Pregnant? Are you nuts? That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. How could you do that to me? To all of us, what the hell were you thinking? All clear? I kept them out as long as I could, but ten dollars doesn't buy a whole lot of mini belt. You knew about this and didn't tell us? No, it's what? Oh, it's here! Maybe we should take a five-minute break. I don't ever break. Mom made me promise not to tell you. For some reason, she was trying to protect Grandma. What does Grandma have to do with Mom being pregnant? What? You're pregnant? No! Oh! No, no, kid! What is wrong with you two? You have enough problems as it is? I can't believe you boys. This is the way you react to wonderful news? This is a blessing! You should be ashamed of yourselves! Psst, I need to talk to you. I can't well, don't worry. We don't have to worry about our insurance premiums coming up. They just canceled our policy. What are you talking about? It's, it's something about too many late payments. Some kind of loophole. So whatever your mom gets, we have to pay out of our own pocket. Oh my God! Sort of pressed around here lately. Well, I was thinking, what could I do to cheer everyone up? And then it hit me. It was the most obvious thing in the world. I bought us an above ground swimming pool. And the best part is, you don't have to pay for it for six months. It's a rack with cup holders. They're setting the pool up right now. Oh, and don't just thank me. Dewey was in on it too. He's lying! Huh? What's going on? Mom's pregnant. What? You can't do that. Do you know how dangerous it is to have a baby and a pool? Oh, right, that's it. Boys, get to your room right now. And you, you get that truck out of my backyard.